Arctic becomes new battleground between U.S., Russia, China. The Pentagon has updated its official strategy on the Arctic, a region which is fast turning into a geopolitical battleground. The U.S. Department of Defense decided to develop a new approach due to big changes going on in the region. They include Finland and Sweden joining NATO, bolstered cooperation between China and Russia, as well as global warming. Leading researcher at the Russian Academy of Sciences Institute of World Economy and International Relations of Russia, Ekaterina Labetskaya, says that the Pentagon's new Arctic strategy didn't catch anyone off guard. Washington's 2024 Arctic strategy, published by the U.S. Department of Defense, replaces a little more than five-year-old document which had been in effect since June 2019. The Arctic has long become a northern front line of a global hybrid war waged by the collective West led by the U.S. against Russia and its friendly countries with interests in that region. The standoff intensified after Russia declared its special military operation, the expert told Neza Vizimaya Gazita. The Arctic is being viewed from a new angle by both Russia and China, as well as BRICS, as many members have had their own interests in the polar region for quite a while, she added. Labetskaya reiterated that last December, Russian President Vladimir Putin held a meeting on developing the main population centers of Russia's Arctic zone. He stressed that Russia would make the region a priority due to its strategic importance as a global transportation and logistics hub, as well as its huge energy potential. Against this backdrop, the country must reassess its national security and defense principles. All Arctic countries are reconsidering their military doctrines. The NATO strategy is changing due to its Arctic component being bolstered with Finland and Sweden. The Arctic Edge 2024 military drills held in Alaska in March are also indicative of this. Actually, precisely during a visit to Elmendorf Richardson military base during these drills, U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Arctic and Global Resilience Iris Ferguson announced the Pentagon was working on putting out a new Arctic strategy accounting for the capabilities of NATO's newest members, the expert concluded. Anti-aircraft gunners of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 110th Separate Motorized Brigade have shot down another Russian Su-25 in Pokrovsky direction of eastern Donetsk region, Ukrainian telegram channels reported on Tuesday. Operational Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsia, reported that the Su-25 attempted to fire at the positions of the Ukrainian Defense Forces units in the eastern Donetsk region. This was the second time in the past few days that Ukrainian troops destroyed a Russian Su-25. It is worth emphasizing that anti-aircraft gunners from a separate mechanized brigade named after General Mark Bazruko shot down a Russian Su-25 attack aircraft on July 19. The aircraft was destroyed in the steppes of the Ukraine's Donbass region. Thanks to the accuracy and professionalism of Ukrainian anti-aircraft gunners, Russian aviation has decreased by one combat aircraft, a Ukrainian telegram channel wrote, while reporting the downing of Russian Su-25. Зато пострелили целые. Тарелки были, да. Тепленькая, да? А, ну прохладненькая, это хорошо. Бокалы разложились, блядь. 